Hi everyone. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one great device that I recently bought. So before I start, I wanna say that I'm not a professional in this kind of ham radio hobby. So I'm just starting out and I bought this device just to see whether this hobby is for me. So what is it? This is the device that I bought. It is an SDR receiver. So it can receive signals from 100 kilohertz up to 1.7 gigahertz. So, so in order to be able to receive signals with this device, we've got to have an appropriate antenna for different bands. So I, I've got one antenna, one antenna that I created. One friend of mine helped me and gave me schematics uh, to create this antenna. So it works great uh, from 88 megahertz up to 108 megahertz or the FM spectrum. But you can design different antennas. So what's great about this device? So it can receive the analog signal from the antenna and convert it into a digital. So receives it it has analog to digital converter in it and through a serial communication it sends the signal to the computer and after that we can visualize that signal and see what's inside of it it is great before these devices people had to buy a lot more expensive uh, radio receivers and because everything you need had to be solved electronically so previously people had to put different electronics for filters or mixers or everything that is inside of uh, one radio receiver but right now everything is solved with the help of the computer so right now we can receive the signal and with the help of various programs and various plugins that people made, we can visualize that signal and see what's inside of it, which is great. So this is the spectrum. We are on 101 megahertz. It is one radio that is located in, in my neighbor's countries in Serbia. So I can listen to it so there are very few receivers I think so that can that, that can listen to this radio because it is far away I think that it is around 200 kilometers uh, from me so I can and I can listen to it that's great. So there are various signals that are available right now. So the, the software gives me. So let's test the capabilities of the device. So this FOB works on 400 and around 30 megahertz. So let's test it out. If I press it, here is the signal. Here is the signal. It is a little bit, a little bit unstable, but maybe the fob is not so precise. And if you wanna end up in jail, so learn to decode that signal, and you know what you can do with it. Test. Here it is. I can see the signal. Here it is. Test. 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 I am on around 433 megahertz. So, and I can listen to this device and I can also see the signal. 
So, yep, it works. So, you yes, saw, so we can go through the spectrum and see whether it is something interesting right now. How I said before, uh, this program allows us to see the signal and also if there is a sound uh, transferred uh, uh, through the signal, we, we can we can actually listen to that. But also people created a lot of interesting uh, programs and plugins that that we can investigate and decode images, kind of video, or a lot of interesting things. So I'm gonna. When I've got free time, I'm gonna try to play with it, and if I find something interesting, I'm gonna share with you. So, yep, from time to time, I enjoy listening to some radio stations that are that are not available if I if I've got a standard radio receiver with a standard antenna on it. So that's everything that i've got guys so thank you and bye bye